uh, 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 paper entitled Newcomer Integration in Online Communities, Chrononemics in Asynchronous Collaborative Discussions. But before I leave you the floor, Julia, I have to ask you whether you agree with the conference organization to record your, your talk. Thank you. I, I agree to be recorded. Okay, that's fine. So I'll leave you the floor. I will need a thumbs up that my presentation can be seen. Yes, we see it. Uh, give me just a moment. Oh, perfect. Um, thank you for the nice introduction. And uh, I'm very glad to speak for uh, this event. Uh, my name is Yulia Pashov. I'm a PhD student at uh, Ludwig Maximilians University at uh, Mühlen and uh, University Polytechnic of Bucharest. I will be uh, speaking about chronemics in asynchronous uh, collaborative discussions in the context of newcomer integration in online communities. Online knowledge communities, they are an important part of uh, smart learning ecosystems, not only because uh, learning emerges from participation and collaboration, uh, but also because they permit the usage of analytics uh, in order to support the learning process. Um, such communities, they live through their members and as it often happens that uh, members uh, live for various reasons, um, they need to constantly integrate newcomers in order to survive. Uh, when talking about uh, newcomer integration, uh, it is a topic of uh, increasing importance, but it is not a new topic. It has been further, it has been studied before. Um, and there are many approaches of those studies from newcomer prediction, integration uh, strategies, uh, automatic membership classification. Uh, when talking about uh, the newcomer prediction uh, and the methods uh, used for learning analytics, they are mostly based on features extracted from the dialogue of participants or from the contributions. Um, but what happens uh, between members' contributions? And this will be the subject of our study. Uh, the topic, the, the concept of chronemics, it has been introduced by Bruno in 1980 as the study of human tempo as it relates to human communication. The entire idea is to identify uh, whether pauses, they represent an interval of nothing re related to learning or just nothing written. Can it happen that during uh, pauses between uh, interactions, there is more learning happening. And we are very interested to know how newcomer integration is related to chronemics or whether it's related to chronemics. And we found out that whether there is uh, enough literature for regarding uh, newcomer integration and there is enough literature regarding uh, chron chronemics in asynchronous discussions, there is nothing to relate the two, con the two concepts. In regards of uh, pauses is in asynchronous communication, they have been addressed by uh, Weiter in uh, 1992. And he found out that longer pauses, they offer more time for contempla contemplation. They allow uh, time to read others or their own contributions before they send them to correct uh, the form of their answers. And further studied by Kalman et al, uh, prove that the user personality influences chronemics in online discussions, which means that introverts take longer pauses than extrovert and uh, confident people, they make shorter pauses in their discussions. They also found that uh, people who participate more frequently, they gain more trust from their peers. 
So if we would need to summarize what we expect that happens during uh, a pause in communication is that user research on content, they reflect on their content, they uh, read others' contributions or their own contributions for style or grammar, or they have real life activities like school, work, family time, or just simple pauses, breaks from everything. The research questions that we focused on were, are there differences in uh, length of pauses between different members in online communities? And how is the newcomer's pause length perceived by all timers in online asynchronous uh, discussions? And we have responded to those questions uh, by providing two studies, a qualitative study and a quantitative study. Regarding the uh, qualitative study, we have developed a questionnaire which has been uh, administered as an interview and it had three parts. First was basic demographic uh, questions, location, age, profession. Uh, the second part was about uh, pauses in online discussions. Uh, we asked community members about the length of pauses, how pauses are perceived and what happens during pauses. And the last part of the questionnaire was related to uh, the poses of newcomers and newcomer integration. And the target group consisted of uh, 40 community members of uh, different online communities of uh, equal distribution, female, male, um, good distribution of ages from 16 to 54. And uh, the members, they came up from different locations and the topics they discussed were varied from cooking to mathematics or politics while the professions of the members, they were either related to the topic of interest or not. Uh, such members, they had different statuses in their community from center, central, active, or peripheral. In the regards of the quantitative uh, study, we uh, analyzed a target group of five blogger communities on the same topic, learning English, and uh, especially focused on literature. Each community had between 88 to 1600 participants from which 10 to 500 members contributed more than once. There were 11,000 messages uh, analyzed and just as many pauses. And the maximum number of participants who contributed to a discussion thread was 68. Each uh, blogger community had a life of five to 10 years. Within those uh, communities, we uh, studied two metrics. One of them was the frequency if, of uh, each uh, participant's messages. So how many messages they uh, send in a specific uh, unit of time. And the second one was the pauses between uh, consecutive messages of each participant represented as a time series. So how, may, how long the pause between each of uh, their consecutive message was in time. Regarding the newcomer's pause length perceived by all timers, we found out from the qualitative study that the pauses of newcomers are considered to be longer. And members say that either that experienced user take shorter pauses, or they say that newcomers often take longer. We also noticed that members find uh, that newcomers often start as uh, silent members. So everybody expect that newcomers maybe don't even participate at the beginning. And some members say that uh, everyone has a personal pace. So they don't expect differences between the pauses of uh, newcomers and old timers. When looking at old timers perception of pauses, uh, in different communities, pauses are expected to be of different lengths. So in some communities, a two minutes break is enough. In other communities, even a week. So we identified that there are communities like for example, the cooking community where people expect that uh, a pause can even be of uh, days if people would need to uh, replicate a recipe provided by somebody else. It's the same for gamers communities or solving a mathematical equation in mathematical related communities. People expect that somebody would need a sheet of paper and a pencil in order to sketch a demonstration. When looking at the cause of 
uh, pauses, what happens. It's, most pauses are created due to reflection and uh, research or offline activities or something unrelated to the community. Uh, members found that returning to a discussion after a pause is quite simple and uh, others found that it has to be proportional with the pause or uh, the difficulty of the discussion. When asked about the newcomer integration, members uh, found that newcomers who reply, who take shorter pauses and reply more fre frequently, they are integrated faster. And actually long pauses, they are seen as a reset in the community. So members who take longer pauses are less likely to be integrated in the community. Even some members claim that more content is better than good content for newcomers. While others say that newcomers should try to uh, not take too short pauses because they risk uh, creating bad content. While members agreed that uh, newcomers take longer pauses, this is just, we wanted to validate this with the uh, quantitative uh, analysis and found out that 91% of newcomers, they take longer pauses than active members. We also found that the number of contribution that the participants has in their first year is highly correlated with his active days, meaning that participants who contribute more, they stay longer in the community. We also found that uh, active members, they post more frequently than the blog owners. And as we see in the first image, uh, the pauses of community members, they increase in time. And a very interesting fact is that uh, the community pauses, the sorry, the pauses between the community abandon are a lot higher. So they prove a, a decrease in interest. As a result of our uh, study, we have found that chronemics is a new uh, measurable dimension which can be used in predicting newcomer integration, as it is higher highly correlated with uh, the membership status. We found that the length of uh, pauses in uh, asynchronous discussions differs, so in regards of time unit. However, the pause needs to be looked at in a relative term to the community pause. Returning after a pause is often uh, simple in discussions, but sometimes according to the difficulty of the discussion, it can take longer. Newcomers take longer pauses in communication as they lack knowledge. And they often start as silent participants and only join discussions when they gain trust. Newcomers who participate uh, frequently, they are more likely to uh, be integrated in the community faster. However, very short pauses are also sometimes seen as a negative, as a negative fact from newcomers. Uh, because they risk their members' reputation. We also identified that community members' pauses, they increase before community abandon, and this can be further used if we want to predict abandon, uh, proving that chronemics are a very strong uh, feature when looking at uh, learning analytics. Thank you. If anyone has any questions. Thank you, Julia. Uh, there are a few comments uh, in the chat. Uh, one question, uh, there are no parallel, ah, no, that's uh, not about the <laughs> talk, sorry. And in the comment uh, by Carlo Giovannella, Maybe chronemics can be useful with online co-design community of teachers. What do you think? So our main purpose was to link the two domains, newcomer integration and chronemics, but we have found that chronemics actually uh, are a more powerful tool than we even expected. So, um, of course, I think that chronemics can be used in a lot other domains and especially in the regards of communities of teachers. Actually, some of the community members that we interviewed, they were part of uh, teachers communities. And we had really uh, significant results from those discussions. Uh, 
Are there any other questions? I have a, a question about the method because uh, I know that in uh, these kinds of uh, studies, there, there are always problems concerning the ethical issues about uh, how to uh, analyze the data from a discussion. How did you deal with this uh, uh, aspect? So all bloggers community, they were publicly available on the internet and we did not use an identification for the participants, just the information that they uh, published, meaning the username. Uh, while some usernames were similar and it is possible that some participants were uh, accounted for multiple times, we wanted to leave it to uh, the participants and uh, not, do an no not apply any metrics in order to um, combine profiles. So every mm -hmm. information that we have used was publicly available on the internet. Are there any other questions? If not, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talk. Thank you to you, Julia. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the speakers of this uh, session for their contributions. So looking at the program, uh, there should be a short break for setting up uh, the presentations of the next uh, speakers, uh, which uh, was supposed to last uh, until 12.10. And therefore, we, we can uh, go on with the, this short break and uh, re resume the, the sessions at 12.10. Yes, thank you, Donatella. We are completely uh, on schedule, which is perfect. So uh, Elvira will be chair, the chair of the next session. If uh, we have any authors um, or presenters, uh, we can start to do the testing they need or checking of the technology, whatever. Thank you very much, Donatella. Thank you to you.